At a certain point in Matthew Perry's life, all he wanted was fame. He had struggled with so many personal issues in life, and he thought being famous was the answer to his problems. However, winning the golden ticket for the iconic series Friends made him realize that fame was not the solution he needed. This video will take you through the eventful life of Matthew Perry, from his early misdiagnosis to his role in Friends and everything in between. His early interests and experiences most people who have come across Matthew Perry's performances on TV shows like Friends and movies have associated him with the fun and sarcastic characters he often plays. But beyond the screens, Matthew Perry's life has not been all fun and games. Life dealt Matthew Perry a major blow when his parents decided to go their separate ways. Matthew Perry was just a baby when his parents made the life-altering decision that would affect him in his early years. He ended up spending most part of his childhood in Ottawa, Ontario, where he developed an interest in tennis. When he was not in school, he spent most of his free time playing tennis, and he later became a top-ranked junior tennis player in Canada. His teen years seemed pretty normal until he started drinking alcohol at the age of 14. As time went on, he found himself consuming huge amounts of alcohol, and what started out as a teenage craving later turned into alcohol addiction. After spending the first 14 years of his life with his mother in Canada, he relocated to Los Angeles at the age of 15 to live with his father. His new location certainly came with new experiences and discoveries for the teenage Matthew Perry. After living in Los Angeles for a while, he began to realize that he had an acting talent. He was drawn to the art of acting, and he found himself growing more interested in acting as the days went by. He later found expression for his innate acting desire, when he started actively participating in high school stage productions. But acting was not the only thing that caught Matthew Perry's attention in Los Angeles. Just like most young teenage boys, he fancied girls, and he also wanted to begin experimenting sexually. But he was too nervous to try all the things he wanted to, so he resorted to drinking over six bottles of alcohol in order to gain the confidence he needed. Unfortunately, the alcohol didn't solve his problem. Instead, it rendered him unable to perform. After repeated incidents, he thought that he was never going to be with a woman ever again. He walked around thinking he was impotent for several years. That part of his life was a huge secret until he met Trisha Lee Fisher. The beautiful Trisha Lee cured his misdiagnosis. While Matthew Perry was exploring in his teen years, he met the mesmerizing Trisha Lee. He fell head over heels for her within a short period, and it wasn't long before their love story began. There was no denying that they were in love, but Matthew Perry held onto his big secret. He thought that if he opened to her, he would lose her. Matthew Perry, who was 18 years old at the beginning of their relationship, claimed that he wanted to remain celibate till marriage due to his Catholic upbringing. However, as time went by, Trisha Lee's desire to be intimate with him grew, and she decided to take matters into her own hands. One faithful day, while they were in his studio apartment, she decided to make a move on him, but he was too fearful to respond. He was afraid that she would discover the truth about his alleged impotence and abandon him. But when he noticed how persistent she was, he decided to open to her and tell her that he was impotent. Things didn't turn out how he expected, because Trisha Lee assured him that he was going to be able to perform. She took him to the bedroom and calmly eased him into the process. When they were done, it became clear to him that he had been lying to himself for years. He was never impotent, and Trisha Lee made him realize that. She cured him of his misdiagnosed impotence, and he is forever grateful to her. Unfortunately, their romance came to an end later, and they both moved on with their lives. Worldwide fame and addictions. After graduating from high school, he wanted to enroll in the University of Southern California, but his love for acting was stronger than his desire for education at the time. During that period, he was offered a lead role in the television series Boys Will Be Boys. Matthew Perry didn't hesitate to accept the role and that was officially the beginning of his acting career. The first few years of his career were filled with guest appearances and minor roles. His career grew steadily as he kept on doing that thing that he loved. He won roles in series like Growing Pains, Sydney, and Home Free. He also appeared in the film, a Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon. Although he enjoyed every single role he played, Matthew Perry wanted more. Deep within him, he desired the kind of fame that would make him an international star. While the actor was nursing his desire for a big break, 
He was struggling with alcohol and drug addictions. His drug addiction started when he took a painkiller for an injury. What was supposed to be a temporary relief turned into an everyday thing as Matthew Perry began consuming excessive amounts of drugs. During that period, he was taking over 55 pills every day, and he would do everything possible to get a hold of the drugs. While he was trying to break free from his addictions, he got the role that completely changed his life. In 1994, Matthew Perry was among the set of talented actors and actresses that were chosen to star in the iconic sitcom Friends. He was selected to portray the role of Chandler Bing in a series which began in September 1994. From the inception of the show up until the final episode, the series was a huge success internationally. Matthew Perry and his co-stars worked hard to make the series extremely interesting and unforgettable. Not only did the stars of the show gain international recognition, but they were also paid huge amounts of money per episode. During that period, Matthew Perry and his colleagues were each making over $1 million per episode. As a result of the success of the series, Chandler Bing became an internationally recognized star. He amassed a huge fan base because of his role in the show and his life transformed dramatically during that period. After 10 years of entertaining fans and putting smiles on the faces of millions of people across the world, the iconic show came to an end in 2004. Even though all the characters in Friends were interesting, some people found Matthew Perry's character particularly funny and interesting. It's been over a decade since the show wrapped up, but several people are still talking about it to date. After the series, Matthew Perry continued acting. The post-Friends era. The success of Friends certainly exposed the cast members of a series to more career opportunities. Matthew Perry went on to make his directorial debut in an episode of the fourth season of the comedy drama Scrubs. He also starred in several movies at times, and his performances were thoroughly enjoyed by the viewers. From his role in The Ron Clark Story to his role in The Good Fight, he continued to entertain his audience. He was nominated for an Emmy Award and a Golden Globe Award for his role as Ron Clark in The Ron Clark Story. From 2006 to 2017, he played recurring roles in some series and continued to turn his acting dreams into reality. But while he was frequenting screens and entertaining his viewers, very few people knew that he was struggling with serious medical issues and addictions behind the scenes. His Candid Memoir In November 2021, Matthew Perry released a book titled Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing. The book contains shocking revelations about Matthew Perry's journey through Hollywood, from his personal struggles to the lessons he learned along the way. The book reveals several aspects of his life that he has kept hidden for years and the very things that fueled him to keep pursuing his dreams. Thankfully, the actor is now on a journey of recovery, and he has been completely sober since 2021. Matthew Perry has truly lived an eventful life. Which of Matthew Perry's roles did you enjoy the most? Let us know in the comment section and check out the next video in this series.